Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and yesterday I discussed about and how to join or what are the benefits in joining Initiative Q and their sign up and verification here at initiativeq.com. Okay, so for today I'm going to discuss on how to obtain Qs and about their Q payment network, alright? So before anything else, I'm going to uh, discuss uh, once again, what is Initiative Q? So Initiative Q is building the payment system of the future. The Q payment network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible, easy to use and inexpensive payment network. These technologies have been available for years but, not, but have not been adopted due to a classic chicken and egg barrier. No buyer wants to join a net new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a, new, a payment option that no buyer uses. So Initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing the currency to early adopters for free. Okay. So that is um, Initiative Q. So obtaining Initiative Q or Qs. So what do I receive for signing up? So when you register, a certain number of Qs are collected for you. These reward Qs serve as incentive to join and they will gradually be released to you after the Q payment network becomes active. Why would you give away Qs for free? So the greatest challenge in creating a new payment system is how to convince everyone, buyers and sellers, to join when the network is still small. Reserving high queues, high queue rewards for those signing up early overcomes this concern and will allow us to build a payment network that is decades ahead of anything available today. How much queue do I get for joining? The maximum amount of queue you can receive depends on what you or when you sign up. At each state of engagement with Q, initial sign-up, verification, uh, using the, the system once it's ready, etc., you can claim more Q. It's important to complete each stage as soon as it's available, as some tasks have a deadline. So why is the sign-up reward constantly decreasing? So joining after the Q payment network has been widely adopted and requires little external motivation since once the adoption challenge is solved people will value the better technology convenience and cost signing up after millions have joined is also an easy decision since you already know there's a good chance the project the project will succeed and the reward will become valuable but joining at the very early stages require real vision and foresight we want to compensate our members accordingly. So why am I required to complete tasks to reserve my full queue in reward? So Initiative Q's unique reward rewards model is what allows you to overcome the adoption barrier that has impeded previous payment technologies. It encourages fast adoption of advanced payment technologies while others struggle to attract new users. Initiative Q will be giving free currency to incentive actions that will that help the system grow. That include that includes tasks such as registration and verification of friends, installing the Q application, adding information, making ex purchases, etc. These tasks are in everyone's interests as they will help Initiative Q grow and reach the target of releasing all queues to members at a value of around 1 USD per queue. So I want more queues, can I buy them? So queues are not currently for sale. We plan to allow buying and selling queues against other currencies once the payment network is live. Okay, so that is on how you can obtain queue. So the queue payment network. So what advantages does the Q payment network offer? Over the last few decades, many advances in payment systems have been devised. 
but they have not been made available since they are only valuable once they are widely adopted. A chicken and egg problem. Initiative Q's distribution incentives solve the adoption problem, thereby offering one global network that integrates many of these breakthroughs, such as low transaction costs, a streamlined digital process with better fraud protection means fewer costs, a universal currency and one global system, one address for all financial needs, cutting edge measures to ensure secure transactions, fingerprint, voice, and face recognition, multi-factor authentication, and advanced artificial intelligence models, simplicity and user-friendliness, one-click payments, no need to carry cash or cards, customer protection, using internal regulations and buyer feedback to prevent sellers from misrepresenting their products in pricing, versatility and efficient dispute resolution, easy online claims process to ensure user confidence, optimal credit allocation using richer information and more advanced models to correctly assign credit to lenders, Parental control, sub-accounts that allow parents to control children's expenses. Helping the unbanked. Connecting the world economy, the world economy, the billions. Connecting to the world economy, the billions who don't have access to financial services. Okay, so that is the advantages of the Q payment network. So why will Initiative Q succeed where others haven't? So since payment systems involve a network of buyers and sellers, a new technology only brings value it, once it is widely adopted. Buyers first want to see many sellers offering it and vice versa. There have been many great payment technologies developed over the years, but they fail to gain universal acceptance due to this barrier. Initiative Q's innovation is in leveraging the future value of Q itself to incentivize its widespread adoption. Our unique reward system encourages users to become early adopters and opens the door to adoption of major breakthroughs in the payment industry. What can I do with my reward Q's? Once the system is functional, the Q's reserved for you will be released gradually and you will then be able to use them for any kind of payment or exchange, purchases, sales, rentals, investments, and etc. When will I be able to use my reward queues? The reward queues reserved for you will be released gradually, distributing all the queues at the same time would flood the market and devalue the currency. Therefore, once the system goes live and begins to grow, only a set proportion of one's reserved queues will be available for spending. The rate at which queues are released will be regulated to maintain a stable exchange rate of around one queue per one US dollar, while also incentivizing economic growth. Queues may be granted sooner to members in some locations to accelerate the creation of local queue based economies. Economic models show that if initiative queue succeeds, and the queue payment network becomes a leading payment method, then eventually all of the queues reserved for members will be released while still maintaining the this one to one ratio exchange with USD. So are my queue transactions private? Can anyone see them? So initiative queue is designed to succeed as a mainstream payment network, which means fully complying with all laws and regulations. Transaction information on the Q payment network will be handled similarly to how current payment and banking networks operate, wherein the bank maintains all transaction records but must safeguard the data and cannot share it with outside parties unless required to do so by law. How much is one Q worth in USD? At this stage, Q is only being reserved and cannot be used. If Initiative Q becomes a leading payment network, Queues are expected to be worth approximately one US dollar per queue. This estimate is detailed in our economic model. Okay, so what is your estimate of the queue value based on 
The reasoning behind the estimated future value of Q payment network can be summarized as follows. The payment world is stuck with decades old technologies since it is very difficult to get buyers to adopt a new technology that sellers don't yet support and vice versa. Initiative Q solves this problem by compensating early adopters with future currency. This enables the building of a payment network that is far superior to current ones. A payment network that is both superior technologically and widely adopted would be preferred by both buyers and sellers. 5. It is realistic to expect that such a network would eventually overtake credit cards, which account for $20 trillion in annual transactions. The total amount of money in the world is roughly half the world's annual economic activity. The value of all Q currency could thus reach half of Q's annual in volume. The seven, an alternative data point is the value of cryptocurrencies which peaked at nearly $1 trillion. Despite hardly being used for real payments, nearly all activity is speculation. Um, therefore, the total future value of Q's could reach a few trillion dollars since there are currently two trillion queues. Um, the goal of one US dollar per queue is achievable. Okay, so what happens if not enough people sign up? So, Initiative Q needs many committed users to ensure a meaningful network of buyers and sellers. If critical mass is not reached, the project may not go forward because the rewards are only valuable once the system is functional. It is in everyone's interest to get others to join. Okay, so that is on how to become, on how to obtain Q and the Q payment network. Okay, guys. So I think that's it for today. And please um see my previous video about uh about joining Initiative Q and the sign up verification. So the next video that I'm going to make is about behind the initiative queue and queues versus crypto okay guys so once again this is Vic signing off bye bye